Today we're going to make braised country style spare ribs with red cabbage. We need a couple of cups of thinly sliced onions. We're going to shred the cabbage thin, a few cloves of garlic, two Granny Smith apples, and season it with caraway seeds, juniper berries, a little bit of wine, and then we have these gorgeous country style spare ribs. First let's slice the onion. I'm going to slide the onions into the slow cooker so that they begin to caramelize while I'm prepping. Quarter the cabbage and cut out the core. And then we're going to shred it. The apples need to be peeled, cored, and thinly sliced. A great way to take the core out of the apple is to use a melon baller. So just go over the top of the core and scoop it out. And that way you can turn it and cut your slices. With country style spare ribs, uh, I don't like to brown them. It doesn't seem to need that. They cook for a long, long time. They give off a lot of flavor. So all I'm going to do is season these with salt and pepper, and then we're going to saute our vegetables, add a little bit of wine so that we have an acid in there to break down the muscle, and then we're going to let it go for about six hours until it's very fork tender and all of the vegetables are really nice and soft and cooked through. Make sure that you season the meat before you put it in. Flip them over. Onions are done. Now we're going to take some wine. The recipe recommends a dry white wine, but I happen to have an open bottle of rosé, which is dry, so I'm not going to open another bottle of wine. I'm just going to use this one. Put in a couple cups. Wine has reduced by half. So now I'm going to take all of my vegetables and my apple, my seasonings, and pop those right in. Give it a good stir to combine everything. I'm only adding one cup of stock, but the vegetables and the meat itself are going to lose a lot of water and flavorful juices, creating a very, very flavorful sauce. If you put in too much stock or water to begin with, you weaken that sauce another reason why with braising that you want to make it the day before so that it sits overnight and those flavors begin to meld together. It's always best the next day. Stir that in and then I'm taking the seasoned meat. You just want to tuck them in just so that they're nicely uh, wedged in between the vegetables. Now we cover it and we turn it on to slow cook. We would like to have it on low six hours and it just cooks all day. We braised the pork yesterday, then I let it cool and refrigerated it overnight. We've reheated it, we've put the uh, country style spare ribs on a platter, and now we have our apples and our cabbage that are left in here with our seasoning. Somewhere in there are those juniper berries, they're going to be hard to find but uh, warn your guests that they look to look for them. Now we're gonna add a little vinegar to the cabbage. So we're gonna just bring this up to a boil, but I also want to point out how much liquid there is in here, and the pork was covered. We have a very nicely flavored stock in here. It isn't too watered down because we started out with just a little bit of extra liquid in the beginning. I'm going to just cook this off and then add it to the platter with our pork. Here are our beautiful country style spare ribs and now we've got this delicious cabbage and apples. So 
So here's a beautiful full preparation of a braised country style spare ribs with cabbage and apples. Enjoy your dinner and don't forget to subscribe and to get the recipe click on the link below.